so we have found the equation for carrier concentration that means the number of electrons and holes per centimeter cube of a semiconductor material these two are our general equations and from this we have assumed intrinsic material and calculated ni and pi that is the carrier concentration in intrinsic material so in intrinsic material we have ni and pi now we will write n not we will try to write n not and p not in terms of ni or pi from this equation so from this equation we will write nc as nc equal to so we will bring this exponential term to the left hand side that is ni into e power ec minus ei by kt so this nc we can substitute in this equation so we will get n not equal to instead of nc we will write this expression that is ni into e power let's take 1 by kt as common so we have ec minus ei and here we have minus ec and here we have plus ef that is this minus and this minus here will become plus and we'll have plus ec term here and this ec term will get cancelled and we will have n naught equal to n a into e power ef minus ei by kt that is ef minus ei by kt if you know the carrier concentration in the intrinsic material then for the doped material all you need to know is how much the fermi level have moved compared to the intrinsic material let's say in the case of n type material the fermi level will be near to the conduction band so this is the fermi level let's say in the case of n type material so now in this equation all we need to know is the intrinsic carrier concentration and how far the fermi level moved from the intrinsic level so similarly we can write the equation we can find the equation for p not that is the number of holes in terms of pi or ni because ni equal to pi these two are equal because we are talking about intrinsic material ni into e power here it will be ei minus ef by kt so in order to get this expression all we need to do is substitute for nv from this expression into this one you can do it yourself so we'll get p not equal to ni into e power a minus ef by kt in the case of n type material the fermi level in n type material lies above the intrinsic fermi level so ef minus ea will be positive that means from the intrinsic carrier concentration the value of n not increases because we will multiply n i into e power a positive term in the case of p not since e f minus e a is positive e a minus e f will be negative so e power a negative quantity so we are multiplying n i with a negative exponent so this value decreases so n not will be greater than n i and p not will be less than n i so you can use this information to check whether you have got the right equations now in the case of p type material so we have fermi level somewhere down here let's say this is our fermi level in p type material now here if we take a look at ef minus ei that will be negative that means n not will decrease compared to ni so n not will be less than ni and we can see that ei minus ef will be positive so ei minus ef will be positive so p not will be greater than so we know that n type material is called so because the majority carriers will be electrons or n not will be greater than p not now in p type material the number of holes will be greater than number of free electrons in that material so you can use these information to verify that you have got the right equation for n not and p not in terms of ni and pi
So when it comes to gate exam, these two equations are really important.